Evening, Albert. Evening, Sim. Pardon the usual, please. Uh, yeah, what's that? It's a lie detector. Get off! That's right. I'm fed up with listening to all that old ball that keeps going on over there. <laughs> you know hey, well, I've heard of some things in pubs, but a lie detector? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna need this. Well, perhaps I won't, really. <laughs> hey, I can't wait to try this out on Harry. <laughs> Hello, Albert. Hi, I'm sorry I'm late. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> the latest thing in pubs, a lie detector. What made it buzz? At least you saying you're sorry. Well, I've had an hard day. <laughs> <laughs> well, a fairly busy day. <laughs> well, look, it was half past six when I left the office. Golf course. <laughs> hey, I don't know what you see in that golf, you know. I prefer something a lot more relaxing. There's nothing I like better than going down to the canal with my fishing rods. <laughs> with that big redhead from the typing pool. <laughs> You're not still seeing her, are you? Why not? She's a very nice girl. <laughs> All right, she's a raving nymphomaniac. <laughs> oh, do you want a drink? That's nice of you. <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. Oh. What do you want? I'll have half a bit here. You'd like a pint, please, Sid? <laughs> Is your missus at the bingo, then? Yeah. <laughs> well, she will be when she's finished mucking out pigeons. <laughs> Harry, Albert, do you know my missus? No, never! <laughs> I'm a train driver. Come the weekend, I like to forget work and take my lad to the football. I'm a biscuit packer. I like to forget about work at the weekend and go dancing. I work at British Leyland. I do something completely different at weekends. I work on my car. <laughs> I've always loved cats, and at last I've realised my life's ambition. I've always loved dogs, and at last I've realised my life's ambition. I've always loved lemmings, and I'm just about to realise my life's ambition. <laughs> I went to a psychiatrist because I had personal problems. I soon fell in with his ideas. I went to a psychiatrist with a smoking problem. I soon fell to five cigarettes a day. I went to a psychiatrist with a drinking problem. I fell off the couch. <laughs> I bet you five pounds mm -hmm. I can pop them three balls with one shot. Five pounds. Five pounds. Right, you're on. There's mine. There's mine. Go on. One. I'm your surgeon this morning, and I don't want you to worry about a thing. Now, this injection makes a man carefree, happy, slightly woozy, irresponsible, as if he's had a dozen whiskies. That's it. Now. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> nice hey, uh, love. What? That space invader's not working. Are you? Come on. You're not paid to sit around. Do a bit of work. Come on. <laughs> So Little Red Riding Hood set off to see Grandmother. She walked through the new shopping precinct until she came to the big roundabout complex in the Six Lane Relief Road. She went down the steps and through the underpass. It was very dark. The lights had been vandalised and there was rude graffiti all over the walls. Red Riding Hood wasn't afraid. She'd taken Kung Fu at evening class and in her basket she had a tear gas canister in case you met any nasty muggers. Soon she arrived at Grandmother's council flat. She took the key off the piece of string behind the letterbox and went in. Grandma, she called out, I've brought your favourite supper. Sweet and sour prawn balls and a bag of chips. <laughs> I'm in the bedroom, said a voice. The electric fire was on and Grandmother was tucked up in bed. She'd read about hypothermia and wasn't taking any chances. <laughs> but it was really the wolf, remember? Grandma, what big ears you have, said Red Riding Hood. Pardon, said the wolf. Mummy, shh. Oh, Grandma, what big eyes you have, said Red Riding Hood. Mummy, it's these national health lenses, said the wolf. Mummy, what's the matter? What is it? What's a wolf? <laughs> 
when was it that you first decided to go to this health farm? <laughs> and now, an interview with that famous motorbike rider, Barry Sheen. Bert. Oh! Grease. <laughs> Blood. Oh. <laughs> Even understains. Don't let them mess you around. Bull boots protect. <laughs> Mom, what's on the other side? Don't know. I think it's the milkman. <laughs> Gee, honey, are we lost? Don't worry, baby. I'll find out where we are. <laughs> I'll call someone up on the CB. <clears throat> uh, Breaker 24, this year's blue movie, Lost in Space. Looking for a 1020. Got your ears on, good buddy? Come on. 10 4 blue movie. This here's the cold turkey. I got him on you wall to wall. 10 15 two wheeler smoky convention. So found, buddy. 10 77 down ahead. 10 100. So drop the hammer. 70 degrees and 88 to you. 10 4 we down. Uh, yeah, thanks. Uh, 10 4. <laughs> what did he say? He said, uh, ask a cop. <laughs> Mr. Hammond? Yeah? It's a boy. Oh, great! Seven pounds. Seven pounds? Who's <laughs> ten? Give the chair. Good morrow, friends. <laughs> here I am rummaging around amongst all this lovely fauna and flora, and I'm here with one of the most ferocious of creatures, the lowland gorilla. As you can see, the gorilla is one of the most gentle and sensitive creatures on Earth. The secret is to be as one of them and to let them see that you come in peace bearing them no ill will. Because like everyone else, all they want is the chance to bring up their young to get eight old levels, just as their human cousins. <laughs> How can I be so close to such terrifying creatures I hear you ask yourselves? Well, I've studied their living habits closely and I know how to fit in precisely with the little daily rituals which mean so much to the adult gorilla. <laughs> This is one of their more advanced rituals. Thank you very much. <laughs> However, after tea, we do hope to see a much more familiar activity. <laughs> now we shall see the traditional grooming ceremony so well known of all primates. <laughs> He's trying to communicate with me now. <laughs> so what I'll do is, I'll try a few words of my gorilla language on him. Just watch this. Guan guan guel guan. We at last appear to be on the verge of a way through. <laughs> I'm now engaged to his oldest daughter. 